selection. So now we're going to spend some time looking at Beat Detective, which is a very powerful tool inside Pro Tools. It's not a brand new tool, and most of this has been around for a while. So we're going to cover some basic areas here, but then I'm also going to point you back to previous VTC titles for a bigger, more in-depth look at this tool. It's not really that complicated once you get some basics down, though, so I think we're going to cover most of what you're going to need to do a lot of your Beat Detective work. Now, what do we use Beat Detective for? We use it for a number of different things, and you can actually probably find your own ways to use this, but we're going to look at how you can use it to take tracks which may not be perfectly in time and pull them into time. Now, a lot of different programs have audio quantization tools, but Beat Detective is one of these things that's been around for a long time and has really done a great job at helping us pull things into time without necessarily changing how it sounds. So it keeps the essence of what's going on very close to the original. Okay, so we have this drum beat right here. This is taken from a session. All we're gonna do is look at these four drum tracks though, because we wanna make this a lot tighter than it currently is. We're not gonna worry about how it sounds. We're not gonna worry about anything else. We're just gonna do that. So the first thing we need to do is actually make a selection that we know exactly what it is. So we're gonna come down here and actually get rid of a lot of this beginning stuff. Now you don't necessarily have to pull this into any specific place in your session, but it is gonna help because we need to have a very clear starting point and we need to know exactly how long it is. So those are a couple things we're gonna do with this. So first of all, let's just do a lot of cleanup just by selecting all of that and deleting it. And then we're gonna zoom in and get this really close to the beginning of this drum loop. Let me play just so you can hear the beginning bar. And that wasn't the beginning bar, let's go back to the beginning here. There we go. So you can see it's pretty rough around the edges in terms of sound quality and also timing of it. So one thing we can do is really pick this initial kick, which is that first hit, and we can do this very easily. So let's turn on tab to transient, and then we can use the tab key to get us right into that first peak. And then I'm gonna push shift and click above and below this, and we're gonna do command E which creates new regions. Now we don't need this part before here, so we're gonna get rid of that. And then one other thing we wanna do is actually put this now at the beginning of a bar. So bars and beats right now are this top area. Let's actually tidy up this just a little bit. Let's do main ruler only, and that's gonna put us at bars and beats. So one thing we could do is pull it right onto a bar and beat, but I'm going to, in this case, just go to shuffle and pull this right back to the top. Now it's gonna start at bar one, beat one. That makes it really easy. Now the other thing we wanna do, of course, is come to the end and tidy that up as well, because we need the selection we're gonna make to be exactly right on. So I left just one little tab here at the very end, which is the next beat of the 17th bar, and we're gonna tab right to it, we're gonna tidy this up as well. So let's go just to the selector tool so we can get this nice and tidy. Command E. And now we're gonna be able to just get rid of all this stuff. Let's zoom in. Switch over to our grabber tool. We can just get rid of all of these. Now we wanna test this out really quick as well because we wanna make sure that it's looping and it makes sense time-wise. So let's come back a little bit. And as we're doing this, we're gonna listen as it loops. So you could hear that it looped pretty well, went right from that last ending section back up to the top, which means that it has a pretty good loop point. Now this is exactly 16 bars. So now we're gonna be able to come into our beat detective window and we're gonna be able to work with this. So it says right here, start, bar, beat, one and one, end. So we're ending technically right at bar 17, beat one. Once we have that, now we're gonna be able to work in our next areas, which are gonna be in terms of detection and operation. So let's move on to detection now. 